Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, apologies for uploading this lecture a little late and uh, was down with COVID and then the post COVID situation was going on. I've been, uh, I think Spirometer actually helps. It's, it's helping me. I'm almost 70% back to my pre COVID productivity levels. I think you'll have to give it time in order to get back to normal and all. Uh, but uh, anyways, I hope you people are doing well. You guys are doing absolutely fine. And uh, let's let's get started with the changes with respect to CFA, all the three levels, 2020 and 21. So first of all, I'll just give you a quick brief. So last year, we did not have any exams in the year 2020. December 2020, we had a few locations taking the exam across the globe, but not in India. There were very few cities who had conducted the exam in the month of December. All the exams have by default been shifted to February for levels one and May for levels two and level three. Students still have the option in case you're facing challenges. The institute has been very accommodating. I know some students have been very annoyed with the institute for not taking the exam, not uh, holding the exam and all. Um, personally, if I would have been in your place, I would have like, you know, I would want to take the exam at any cost. And even if I fall ill, I would rest after the exam has been done for 14 days. That would be my personal uh, uh, choice. But given that, you know, obviously the institute has certain responsibilities with respect to, you know, uh, the safety and all of the ch uh, uh, challenges and all. So uh, the institute still is giving you a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, if you want to defer the exam from February to another term or any term within this year, they are allowing you to do all of that. You write a mail to the institute and all the instructions very clearly, you know, they've given all the instructions because they're also facing a lot of challenges. I know the students have uh, been uh, receiving the mails and all a little late. Be patient, follow up on every alternate day basis and all your queries and everything will be resolved with respect to exam deferral. So you can mail the CFA Institute for all of that. And now we are hoping and, we, and I'm pretty confident that all the exams are going to be taking place as scheduled now in the year 2021, given that all the exams have become computer based. I'll come to that part. So now when you're looking at the exam terms, so I'll tell you what is going to happen from 2022. Sorry, I think from 2022 onwards, 2022 onwards, CFA level one is going to be taking place in uh, February, May, August and November. Now understand the logic, it's middle month of every quarter. So Jan, Feb, March, it's in Feb. Um, April, May, June, it is in May. So it is a middle month of each quarter. So CFA level 1 will be available for February, May, August and November. This is, I'm talking about 2022 onwards. I'm, there is a logic why I'm explaining that way. And level 2 is going to be available in February and August. Level 3 is going to be available in May and November. So this is going to be your exam cycle basically. Now, this year, because of, you know, you have to accommodate all the students from the year 2020, choices have been February, February is only for level one, March and July has also been opened for level one students only, because there is obviously more number of students appearing for level one, because based on the past rate, uh, 50 to 60 percent students are filtered out for level two and further another 60 percent students are filtered out for level three. So level three will have the least number of candidates as compared to level one and level two. So March and July will have level one only. This has been extended only for this year. This is not for a every year basis. This is your norm now. This has become the rule. CFA level one takes place in the middle month of every quarter, level two in Feb, August and level three in uh, May and November. And this year, May, August, November, all three levels you can take only for this year. Be it May, be it August, be it November, CFA level 1, 2, 3, you can take any level across the three. In February, you cannot take level 2 and level 3. I believe obviously all of you know this already. I'll just move forward very quickly. The other thing is students have been very confused about the flow. So if you take a CFA level 1 in February, if you clear the exam, you take level 2 in August and not before that. If you don't clear the exam, you take level 1 in August and not before that. So minimum gap of 6 months has to be there in between any of the terms. So even if you're looking at a May term, if you take any exam in May, the next exam you'll be able to take is in November. So some students uh, have been thinking that, you know, I can pass the CFA exam faster. It's still going to take you a minimum of one and a half years. Even earlier, it was the same. If you would have taken a CFA level 1 in December, then June you take level 2 and then next year, June you take level 3. So there is a one and a half year gap in between anyways. So that is still going to be maintained. But of course, you have more flexibility because level two and level three is also taking place twice a year and CFA level one is taking place four times a year. So of course, there is a certain level of flexibility. For example, if you take a CFA level one over here, you can take level two here. But if you take a CFA level one over here in November, your level two can only happen in August. Are you understanding? So there is a nine month gap then if you take a CFA level one in November. So anyways, there is a diagram actually, I'll just show it to you. So there is this, 
So the institute has provided a flow chart. You can access this on the institute's website and this is giving you exactly clearly how your flow will happen. So if you take level one in March, then if you pass, if you fail, what goes, uh, what happens and how you can move towards the charter. So for entire level one, level two and level three, this flow chart has been very clearly made. So you can go through this flow chart in your own time and you will get an exact idea as to how to go about it. So I'm not getting into too much of technicalities into how to register and all of that. I'm coming to your questions, which you need an answer. The next thing is with respect to computer based testing. Now this has caused a lot of curiosity uh, amongst the students. I'll also talk about the students, you know, who have been registered for 2020 and then you've shifted to 21 and the challenges and all that you're facing. So with respect to the computer based testing, the first thing is going to be your preparation. What is going to be the impact on preparation because of the exam being now conducted on a computer based manner? See, the preparation is going to be exactly the same, but there is going to be a lot of additions that has to be made. I'll tell you how. So see, first of all, I've always maintained that, you know, you have to study as a student. I'm still studying. I want to study for the rest of my life. And you have to be studying. You have to grow because things are changing quite uh, um, quickly. Now, when we are looking at things around us in terms of technology, in terms of everything, actually. Now you uh, see uh, the preparation part, the way you study, the way you learn that cannot be changed. Your concepts, your understanding, studying for long durations, to get into that flow of studying, the flow of chapter, to be in the groove of studying, you know, your total concentration is into that. I've discussed this multiple times in my class that, you know, if I, if you sleep for one hour and I wake you up and then again, you sleep for an hour and I wake you up, you do that for eight hours or 10 hours, you'll not be fresh. You'll not have uh, had a good sound sleep. Similarly, when you're studying, because you need a flow, a continuous time frame. Similarly, when you're studying, this is required. So of course, I am absolutely pro technology in terms of maybe using a board like this. So I don't have to think and write. I can, you know, put down all my thoughts together. Then I start discussing with you or I can save the screen and share it with you and reach out to you anywhere across the world very easily. So these things are an advantage of technology, but I don't like the fancy, fancy things around the education part at all. Um, you know, all of that, that, that just uh, kind of kills the way of studying. I have to have, I want my whiteboard with me to teach you and you have to study. You have to have that red and blue pen and underline and study and focus and thoroughly write down those small little tiny notes that I give you apart from your textbook, beyond the textbook and write down the formulas, learn and study very hard. So that cannot change your preparation strategy. Your preparation does not change. The additions that are going to happen is totally because of the computer based examination because of that what happens is your online reading speed is relatively uh, slow your online reading speed is less as compared to when you're reading a hard copy so we have to improve our online reading speed the second is when i'm practicing a question for example so you're not going to practice on your phones or on your tabs you're going to be practicing on laptop or computer so earlier i used to recommend students that always practice in the hard copy because it's easier to you know underline and scribble and write those rf and beta and all of that whatever notations of the formula and underline those terms and all do the rough work on the question itself the way you are going to do it in the exam and then answer the questions but now that is not possible now you have a screen to see the question and another uh, notepad or something to do the rough work we'll get into all that later but the problem is there is an eye coordination needed Time management was not an issue earlier with respect to the CFA exams, at least level one, level two, level three, level three was a major time management issue with respect to the essay type exams. But now the duration of the exam has come down. So I'm going to come to that part at the end, but the strategy is not going to change in terms of your preparation, but maybe I'll recommend you to practice more online rather than on pen and paper. So there is going to be additions that have to be made in terms of improving your online speed, in terms of improving your focus, because when you're reading online, your focus kind of deviates. So say, for example, the working professionals and all, I always have WhatsApp web open on my laptop when I'm working. Now, the problem is that that is a big distraction. It's irritating because somebody's pinging, you're replying and you're moving in between tasks. So a new window is open for WhatsApp web separately and the rest of the window is separate where I'm actually doing my work. You're online, you're working, you're researching, whatever work you're doing. So there are going to be a lot of tricks and also uh, that is that is your preparation is going to be the same. So when you, the way you prepare and the way you uh, uh, do this thing, study is the same. It's just that there'll be a little bit of additions you have to make in terms of your online exam that you have. So the practice part online karna and also small little changes and tweaks, quite a few tweaks in all you'll have to do, but nothing major in terms of preparation. 
when you're looking at the exam so students have been very uh, uh, curious about the level of difficulty the level of difficulty is not going to change the number of questions have gone down so earlier we had a three hour three hour paper now we have a two hour 15 minute and a two hour 15 minute paper so the exam has gone down by a good 45 minutes so the number of questions have also been uh, what do you call it uh, in proportion been reduced so that is again the exam preparation the exam attempting is going to be a challenge i'm telling you especially for level 2 students and level 3 because level 2 you have a big case study on that you have four to six questions level 3 essay type don't worry i'll come to the level wise you know the this thing in detail in a while but basically the idea is your level of difficulty is not going to change level of difficulty in terms of question is not going to change it is going to increase in terms of that focus a higher amount of focus is uh, 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 is required uh, the reading speed is going to be a problem coordinating between the practicing the rough work and the solving of the question and reading of the question is going to be coordinated that is going to increase the difficulty level and even you'll have to practice that way before the exam so that you are increasing your speed especially for level 2 level 3 level 1 is still okay they will not be facing so much of a challenge another a major problem that is going to happen i'll tell you i have already discussed this in one of the lectures i'll tell you earlier you make a mistake of one question you answer a question incorrectly you lose this much percentage marks out of a 100 mark paper you had 120 questions in level 1 you can use this logic similarly for level 2 and level 3 you if you make one mcq if you incorrectly mark one mcq your loss is 1 by 120th of a percent now your loss is going to be 1 by 90th of a percent if i'm looking at the level 1 exam this is 0.83383 percent this is 1.11 percent so earlier one question was costing you 0.83 percent now that one question is costing you 1.11 percent marks so per question the marks is more so that is very important now that is going to that means your strike rate has to be better your number of mistakes you're able to make is less silly mistakes cannot be made and all these things how to do we discuss in the how to study and practice strategy and there is a how to attempt exam lecture i'll come to that in a while so that way the level of difficulty is going to go up i agree the pass rates will be the same they are not going to change Achha, one more thing the level of difficulty is going up for everybody so how your focus level is high whether you are listening to the things i told you the mistake sheet and all i make you people do in the class whether you are following all those instructions or not that is going to be very important now because percentile wise the pass rate is going to be the same it's not that everybody is attempting online so if everybody gets the, gets the questions correctly or whatever they will be getting the same marks or uh, you know the pass rates will go down go up and down in february may and march and uh, february may and august and november that is not going to happen the pass rates are going to be the same the institute has a huge repository of data uh, over the last decade plus that you know these many questions these many students are able to mark so your passing rate and all is going to depend on is going to be more or less the same so it's ultimately 35 40 percent people pass the level one exam let's say so you have to be in the top 40 out of the 100 and that is not top 40 out of 100 in may only or in august separately the institute also has some level of grading in all they do that this should be the cutoff level of the number of questions you need to answer correctly we don't have that normally we take a ballpark figure like a 70 percent so out of 90 questions you need to mark 63 questions correctly so ideally you will be in the passing zone and you need to perform well in different subjects also so in level one the institute has clarified that for the first two hour 15 minutes these four five subjects will be tested in the next two hour 15 minutes these four five subjects will be tested not like we used to have earlier earlier you had all the 10 subjects 120 questions and then all the 10 subjects 120 questions in that three hour but now that has changed the first four five uh, 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 subjects are going to be tested in the first two hour 15 minutes and the remaining other subjects is going to be tested in the next two hour 15 minutes level two level three we are waiting for a clarification i'll come to the individual level part this thing later but the pass rate is not changing so you don't have to worry i have seen students some of them pinging me that bhai i should not take the exam in february because all the people of 2020 june and december are taking in 21 uh, february so my pass rate ka percentage of probability will go down let me take in may all that is rubbish extrapolation and uh, 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 you know applying your brain in the long place you need to work on your studying your concept your understanding and all of that there'll be more people so more people will pass because ultimately 40 percent people out of 140 are passing 
so if 200 take the exam 80 passes if 100 take the exam 40 is passing so don't think about all those things that is not something that you need to you know that that is a wrong way of thinking that's a very wrong way of thinking what do you do after you're out uh, for interviews and then competing in the corporate world so it does not work that way the other question was with the students at the value of designation will it go down because it is computer based so computer based I've taken multiple exams, Kaya and all these exams, they're all computer based. And anyway, CFA, even despite, even if pre-COVID, the institute was uh, anyways going to be converting the exams to computer based exam. It is just that it would have been in a phased manner. But now we are forced to do it immediately, levels 1, 2 and 3 all at one go. But that is not a problem. Most of the exams, are, uh, GMAT value cannot fall because it is an online exam or something or whatever online exam you're taking. And the second thing is number of people, because it is taking place now more frequently throughout the year. It is not going to, because as I told you, the duration required to clear all the three levels is more or less the same. It is not that it has gone down significantly or something. You have to study the same curriculum, the same content. So that is not a validating factor. And just because the exam is taking place in July also, so therefore let me do a CFA. That is absolutely absurd logic. So it does not. So don't get into all those kinds of discussion that pass rate ko kya hoga and uh, you know what is going to happen to this and uh, uh, should I give in this month I will be doing better and I will be pegged against less number of candidates and all. Don't get into all that nonsense logic. The next thing is with respect to the exam center, we understand that the uh, number of centers are going to increase significantly. A lot of students have been facing challenges in terms of earlier they were facing actually more challenges. Now I think it's all sorted out that exam test centers are getting filled up and all quickly. So once you have decided to take the exam, you book your exam, you block your exam. I have put in an audio note in your uh, apps also that uh, how to which day to uh, choose for your exam and all which day or time to choose and all. I've put that already shared that earlier it will be there in your exam related section in your app and uh, so that is that is not a problem so uh, you don't have to worry the, you're getting multiple options and if the exam center is not available or the dates are not available mail the institute they'll get back to you and if they are giving a delayed response you follow up on the mail in a couple of days and be polite and be, be patient about it all your queries will be resolved i've seen all the students all the issues are anyways getting resolved so don't worry about that so exam centers will have multiple exam centers and um, so earlier what used to happen is tier 2 tier 3 cities we were not able to conduct the exam that is because maybe there are only 30 students or 40 students let's say in an xyz city who are willing to take the exam over there so physical exam for 30 students is not feasible but let's say in that tier 2 or 3 or 3 city there is a pro metric exam center available which is conducting gmat or whatever exams now cf institute will be able to conduct the exam in that center also pretty easily even for 20 or 30 students and the exams are now in a window so there is a 14 day window generally uh, between let's say 10th to 26th february or 24th february or something you can take the exam so the institute can this year at least i'm sure they're making a lot of flexibility and all and increasing those windows and all so that all the students can be accommodated so don't worry about that and rest all the information about this is there on the institute's website Next thing, very important, we need to understand is the change in terms of curriculum. So 2020 and 21, the syllabus is the same. When you're looking at 2019 to 20, CFL level 3 had major changes because of which, you know, I had a little delay in uh, completing all the lectures last year because COVID and lockdown and all of that happened. But 2020 and 21, the curriculum, the syllabus is 100% same. The institute curriculum is also not changing. So the, cha the curriculum is exactly 100% same. There is not a word that is going to change. There is not a single LOS that is changing across all the three levels. Because there is no change that is happening in 2021, my expectation would be that in 2022, there will be more number of changes from 2021 curriculum as you move towards the 2022 syllabus. Now, with respect to the textbooks and all, so 2020 and 21, the Schweizer textbooks that we refer to generally when we are doing the classes is going to be the same in my opinion. They could be changing, you know, they might be just changing a couple of paragraphs. They might be rewording one paragraph here or there, or maybe an example here or there. So if there's any change, I'll inform you, but otherwise there is no change as such because the curriculum is not changing. The LOSs are not changing. So if there is any change, I'll inform you. Otherwise, whether you use a 2020 book or 21 book, it will not matter. So this, this has eased out things. With respect to the lecture changes, so there is generally an introduction lecture that I do. That's a first class, not an introduction, but the first class. I try to put the overview of the syllabus and the structure and how to study and prepare and everything for all the levels of all the curriculums and everything that I teach. So in that, the overview, that's basically an overview and particularly the exams part is going to change. The syllabus lecture does not change. The scope does not change. So everything is the same, the preparation and the material and all. As I told you that earlier, I would recommend you to 
do a hard copy say practice now i'm going to recommend you to do practice online so these are the minor changes that are going to happen otherwise and i'll anyways redo these lectures in the coming week and i'm going to be uh, updating these lectures on youtube as well because this first class i generally put it on the youtube but every single student has to do this lecture before they start studying for any level that they are preparing for because it's very important to understand exactly the approach and the syllabus and all that now the other thing that is going to change is how to study and practice now what happens is this how to study and practice lecture was already given to you so this is in the exam mentoring folder so my students all of you guys know that i will have it. there is an exam mentoring folder in which how to use a calculator the introduction lecture is also there how to study and practice how to revise how to attempt how to use a calculator then how to focus retention all of those things are there i have already provided a mentor note in the form of an audio actually a 30 minute i think if i remember correctly in terms of change in preparation strategy so for those who already covered these two lectures it's fine because i'm going to read a new lecture i'll do a new lecture combining this and creating a how to study and practice lecture for all the students from the computer based testing from 2021 onwards so i'm going to be doing this for all the three levels you don't have to worry and i am going to be i think posting it by january and i think i should be able to do this the how to attend lecture is the most important lecture it is the most important lecture and it is going to be significantly changing so do not do the existing one it is going to significantly change because now you are going to be attempting your exam on a computer based format your time management is going to be a challenge and that is going to change completely so how to attempt lecture is going to be extremely extremely important for cfa level 1 students i'll be able to provide it by next week because i have a lot of information the software demo is also out and but for cfa level 2 and level 3 students how to attempt the exam is the exam strategy that needs to be done just a month before the exam or you know once your syllabus is over but i'll not be able to provide it for cfa level 2 3 students till i have more information from the institute so let institute release more information and then i will be posting it of course it will be done by uh, 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 one month before your may exam so definitely by march end only i think the institute will release all the information and uh, you know the essay type and all of that few things they've already mentioned i'll come to it so that is this is going to be one of the most important lectures and you'll have to do it otherwise the class lectures as 2020 and 21 is same so that's fine and whatever i do in live anyways i keep on updating and providing it to all the students you don't have to worry anything extra that i do i anyways tell the students and inform them through whatsapp group share is why share it via google drive so all that you don't have to worry but curriculum wise there is no change these two lectures will change so this if you have done these two it's fine don't worry otherwise i'll upload a new one don't wait for this anyways you do this and how to attempt lecture is going to be very important that is going to be a uh, totally new and you can't do the old one again i'm repeating extremely important for level 1 february exam students it will be done by january end and for level 2 and level january end also then i'll give it to you on uh, by 27 28 ha huh, january end and level 2 level 3 students i'm waiting for the institute to release but that will be way before a month before your exam so you don't have to worry and these i'll be upload this will be done on youtube i'll be posting it over here in the next week itself for all the levels the next thing i'll come to the exam part ha huh? it's a percentile system all right so last year lot of students have been very irritated annoyed frustrated i cannot use other words uh, so the so uh, i have tried my level best to guide you through uh, 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 on a very very regular basis and all i hope you people are doing fine understand it is a percentile system your eq is going to be very important this is for those students who have deferred it and have come down from 2020 to 21 exams so your eq is very important everybody is facing a lot of challenges now how do you take on those challenges and how do you tackle that that is going to be very important because everybody is in the same situation everybody is irritated from june 20 to defer it to let's say feb or may 21 now how do you react to those problems is up to you so your eq level is going to be very important and whether you've been reading i've been giving uh, recommendations of books to read on instagram on your whatsapp groups and everything throughout so how much you read how much you upgraded yourself in terms of excel technology everything that is going to be very very important how you utilized your entire last year so that is that is very important software demo so the institute has already uh, rolled out the software demo so you can just see the kind of you know with two sample random questions they they have given you a demo of the software you can check it online i have also re uh, recorded the lecture for this one and i'm going to be sending it across to all of you that what all you need to keep in mind when you are uh, you know how uh, when you are using the software when you are basically the exam tool the exam software when you sit in the exam center and take the exam there are more testing locations i've already told you 
results this year i don't expect the results to be rolled out faster but next year onwards i expect the results to be rolled out at a faster level because generally they take 6 7 weeks or so in order to roll out the results i think this year they're going to be testing and all that so maybe they'll again stick to 6 weeks only after the exam date so the exam is 10 february to 24th february then the 24th february onwards you count 6 weeks and then the results will be declared within that time but going forward 2022 onwards my expectation would be the institute should be able to release the results 4 weeks after the exam obviously the result will not be released immediately post the exam this lecture is already done ha huh? software uh, the software how to use the exam software and all the things to keep in mind sorry keep in mind so this is already there and this will be sent this is more for level 1 right now level 2 level 3 if i see any changes or anything i'll let you know because level 2 i think the window will be divided into two parts one part is case study you can scroll up and down and second part you will have one question at a time so you do question 10 then 11 then 12 this keeps on changing when you move to next question and the case study remains constant for four five questions then once you move to another case study question the case study will also change and in level 3 students have to write the exams i wish that was as in type the exam i wish that was in the in my case uh all the students are very scared about their handwriting and all so that is not a challenge anymore uh but and and some students are scared about formulas and all that you'll have to type don't worry you don't have to type the formulas there is a formula generator also in the exam software they've mentioned but uh, it is very time consuming ne never never try to use that and do the write the formula with the sigmas and all the signs and all if you have to write any formula or something you write risk free rate is equal to or uh, required return equals to you type it out it will be much faster so all those things i'll discuss when i do the how to attempt lecture for level 3 students and uh, but you don't have to worry it is absolutely fine you take more your uh, preparation strategy is going to change in terms of improving your focus levels and uh, your reading speed online so these are the two things we'll have to work and uh, practicing more online that is one major change that we are going to do anyways as i told you the how to attempt lectures very important will be shared with you before the exam a month before the exam and how to study and practice already a mentor note was given on change in preparation strategy this is going to be combined and a new lecture will be provided this is just going to be combined there is nothing changing but because i've already talked about all the changes in this lecture already which has been provided to you and the syllabus is the same so study hard work hard and eq is very important reading and all that is going to be very important please do that practicing on tab is not going to help i have told you and i think yeah that's that's more or less it i've covered everything so study hard work hard read follow instructions carefully mistake sheet and all i talk about all these things in how to study and practice lecture make sure you people follow those things your strike rate is going to be very important i'll i'll explain all these things i've already done that in the computer based testing change in strategy i'll again club these two together and do it if you haven't done this you do this please and yeah that's that's about it i guess So study hard, work hard. Lot of resources, all the details with respect to rescheduling the exam and scheduling your test center and all of that. It's all there in the institutes on the institutes website. Just go through that and uh, study hard, guys. Study hard. Everything will be good. I'm sure this year is going to be great for all of us. Okay, study hard. And uh, for the students who are not registered and just checking the details and all, I'll put the app details in the description below and all. It's there on Android, iOS, the website students plural dot ashwini bajaj dot com. You can go there, and I'll anyways put all the things in the links and all that in the description part, and uh, you can check that. Okay.